guys, welcome to this week's video where I am now two months post-op, that's eight weeks of hair growth, and I'm so, so excited to share with you my results so far. So everybody talks about this shedding phase, which is a phase that you go through after having a hair transplant, where your new follicles are put into their new destination in the hairline, temples, and brows for me. Um, this also covered the triangle at the top of my scalp. Now normally when the hair is removed from the donor area at the back of the head, cutting off the blood supply makes the hair just drop out from the follicle. So it's normal to put the follicles into the transplanted area for the hair then to shed and pop out of the follicle uh, within the first month or so post-surgery and then new hair to continue to grow to thicken and become denser and stronger and your new hairline to finally be revealed. Around 5% of patients do not lose their hair post-surgery in the shedding phase. Whether you do or not, this is completely natural and normal and nothing to be concerned about if your hair does come out. I may be one of the lucky 5% who has managed to keep the majority of my transplanted hair. I have noticed some have come out and where they have there is a palish pinkish reddish colour um, in a circle which is obviously the follicle that's been transplanted. Just as when we cut ourselves we have a slight pinkness to the skin until it fades back to a skin colour where I am just two months post-surgery where the hairs have dropped out and shedded, there are pale pink circles, which is perfectly normal. So for the majority, my hair has stayed, and that is so exciting. Reaching 3.5 centimeters at its longest point. Now, instead of sticking up and being spiky, it has started to lay down against my head, creating wonderful coverage and giving me an indication of what my hairline will look like a year from now. The area that I have noticed shedding is to the temples, the sides of my hair here, which I believe is from sleeping on my pillow at night, and tossing and turning. The areas that I don't touch or make contact with, being the hairline and scalp, these have literally stayed exactly as they were from the day that I had my surgery. So as my hair continues to grow, these new hairs that have shed will then pop through and also grow. So I will have a mixture of hair length, which is completely natural and normal. And I'm really, really excited to share with you these results, comparing them to my before and two month post-surgery after pictures. I think you can see there has been a huge, huge difference. So when we talk about area of extra hair, these grafts that I've had transplanted, there is approximately two centimeters added to my hairline here to reduce my forehead and strengthen the density and coverage across my scalp. Two centimeters, my goodness, that's around two fingers. To my temples, the deepest area that has been added is four centimeters approximately. And that is around four fingers that has been put back into my hairline. When you say it like that, when you look at it like that, it is huge and I'm so, so pleased with my results. I will continue to share my progress and my growth as we go through the coming months and I will touch base at the six month, nine month and 12 month mark in my YouTube video diaries. You can, however, hop over to my blog at tracykiss.com where I will post update photos, comments, questions and answers throughout and I will do my best to answer your questions. Now that Christmas is over, I haven't actually worn hats and head coverings in public or at home, simply because I haven't felt the need to. This may have helped to keep my hair from shedding because there hasn't been daily friction from trying to cover my surgery, but it's actually been very empowering and not to feel concerned or insecure about the fact that new hair is growing. If anything, to me, I've seen this as a celebration. I thought before I had surgery that I would do everything in my power to disguise and cover up my healing and recovery. Actually, I found myself celebrating it. And the only time I've covered my head this winter is to put a loose fitting hood up when it's rained and I've been outside walking. I have embraced my new follicles and I'm celebrating my regrowth. My hair no longer feels short and stumpy. I have 97% sensation back to my scalp, I would say. Um, in the transplanted area and the donor area is growing wonderfully. 
It's been a wonderful Christmas. We're about to celebrate New Year and I have my first post-surgery hair appointment with my hairdresser next week. So I will keep you updated in my blog at tracykiss.com and hope that you all have a very wonderful end to 2022 and welcome in 2023, realizing how much hope, opportunity and positivity there is in the world. Please, if there is anything that you are concerned about, face it head on, overcome it and remove it from your life.